Now to more breaking news tonight in this video just into KCAL News. Streets and parking lots flooded in Seal Beach. It happened as high tides came in tonight. Our Mike Rogers and meteorologist Evelyn Taft are both tracking the flooding. Mike, let's start with you. You have new video in from a scene tonight, right? Yeah, Jeff and Susie, this came into our newsroom actually from a viewer, and we were able to send a photographer down there. I want to show you that video. This was just in about five or ten minutes ago. Uh, so this is very fresh video. You can see public works crews there in the parking lot. This is near the Seal Beach Pier trying to use pumps to clean that out. Unfortunately for some people, though, uh, it was a little bit late. We did see a car underwater there about halfway up the door panel. There it is right there. You see uh, kind of all the way up to the headlights there. So uh, leave a little bit of damage to that. And then this is over closer to the neighborhood. This is 11th and Seal Way right there just south of the pier. And you can see it's not encroaching really into any garages or anything like that, but it is, uh, you know, higher than normal. We don't see water in the streets like that very often. Uh, and we did start to see uh, video come in from our viewers. Take a look. Seal Beach, high tide, high surf, and uh, flooding. Yeah, so a surprise to those people. And look at this. This is from uh, closer to dusk tonight when you can see the water was even higher as it kind of moved in. There's that car again underwater there. So uh, it's something that they're going to be cleaning up from as we come back out here to the desk. I haven't heard of any kind of significant damage. You could see from the video there the water just kind of encroaching up to the garages, but not really high enough to get in. Jeff and Susie. Mike, thank you so much. Let's bring in meteorologist Evelyn Taff, who's tracking the flooding right now in Seal Beach. So, Ev, take us through what's happening right now and how long the flooding danger will actually last. Yeah, at this point, I mean, we are looking at quite a bit of flooding, and we are looking at beach hazard statement up and down our entire coastline. So this includes Ventura County, even up to Santa Barbara County, L.A. County, and on top of that, Orange County, especially along south-facing beaches. That's where we're looking at really the worst of it. We were just showing you shots from Seal Beach. So we do have incoming southerly swells bringing high surf, and this is to today through tomorrow. We could see seven to eight foot waves. That's a possibility with a very high risk of rip currents over the next couple of days. So surf generally between four and eight feet, which is pretty incredible. We do have large waves continuing to arrive and that high rip current risk continues at least through tomorrow. We're going to continue to keep our eyes on the coast. We also have fog and on top of that, monsoonal moisture to talk about. We'll break it all down in just a little bit. But for now, Susie, Jeff, back to you.